Pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let's hear a special message from the Honorable Mayor of Ormoc City, Mayor Lucy Torres Gomez. Your Excellency, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., whom we fondly know as BBM, PBBM now, Madam Secretary Cristina Garcia Frasco, Thank you. Her Excellency Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson, Postmaster General Norman Fulgencio, Dr. Rene Escalante, Chairman of the NHCP and NCCA, Congressman Richard Gomez, Vice Mayor Carmelo Loxin Sr., Secretary Ben Hur Abalos, thank you for being here also. And a former colleague of mine who now works with the President, also Tita Naida Angping, thank you for being here. Mayor Matt Torres of Kananga, members of the 16th Sangguniang Panglunsod, the Punong Barangays and the Barangay Councils. Educators, my fellow Ormo Canons, my buntag natong tanan. And to our honored guests, thank you very much for gracing this most momentous day in the history of the City of Beautiful People, the commemoration of the 75th Charter Day of Ormoc City. What makes a city? Just as Rome was not built in a day, everything magnificent needs time to develop and season into something great. As the city of Armok turns 75 years old today, she is but a teenager, one that is full of promise and potential, one that continues to tread the path of growth. I believe that we are the sum of all our stories and experiences, for these are the very bricks that make up the spirit and character of who we are as a city and a people. And if our stories are the bricks, our relationships and friendships are the mortar 
that bond and secure these BRICs. One such relationship is that of our great nation ally, the United States of America. It was in the Battle of Ormoc Bay in 1944, a reenactment of which you saw a few minutes ago, that the U.S. forces regained control of Ormoc, ending the Japanese occupation which was pivotal in winning the war. Mr. President, during your last visit to Ormoc City, the entire city in this very Superdome rallied behind your candidacy. <laughs> Overwhelmingly. And the people you see here now have been awake since 5 a.m. Just to be here with you. And what a joy it is for all of us today to finally welcome you again as the 17th President of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you for gracing this most momentous day in the history of this city of beautiful people, the commemoration of the 75th Charter Day of Ormoc City. I would like to share with you, Mr. President, and with a lot of people here also, this little known trivia, that on October 24, 1982, almost exactly 40 years ago, your father, President Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. visited Leyte and the Ormoc area to inaugurate the Leyte Industrial Estate. The other major project initiated by President Marcos Sr. was the Tungonan Geothermal Power Plants. And I am very pleased to say that these economic infrastructure pro projects from the previous Marcos administration still continue to bear fruits up to this very day. With the present Marcos administration, your administration, Mr. President, I have no doubt that our city will be even more blessed. Today, the city of Armok is standing on higher ground. I salute all the city mayors before me, most especially then mayor, now Congressman Richard Gomez, who set the stage of peace and prosperity for the next chapter of successful socio-economic development of the city. And while we have achieved significant milestones, we realize that there is so much more for us to do. Ormoc City and the Ormocanon people have high aspirations to be a healthy blue zone city, to be a city of beautiful spaces and deep cultural appreciation and development. This is, of course, side by side with our economic goals, and one of our priorities is to become the organic food basket for the Visayas, serving all Filipinos nationwide. Pakpak, mga farmers. The city of Ormoc is very unique because it is endowed with both fertile plains and highlands, affording us the perfect conditions for a wide range of high-value fruits and vegetables. The very same terrain also provides us with magnificent tourist visual attractions that only a few places can offer. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary as an independent component city, Ormoc City feels younger than ever ready to take on new challenges and adapt to national and global changes in the post-pandemic world. And with, and with you at the helm, Mr. President, we are confident that our country will successfully weather through these global turbulent times. The city of Armok humbly takes your lead. Once again, thank you for honoring our city with your presence. And to all our distinguished guests, welcome and thank you for joining us as we mark this most memorable occasion. Dakang salamat. Thank you very much, Honorable Mayor Lucy Torres Gomez. At this point, may we request the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. 
or Mock City Mayor Lucy Torres Gomez, Congressman Richard Gomez, and the CEO and Postmaster General of Phil Post, Mr. Norman Fulhensho, to kindly proceed to the side of the easel stands for the launching, unveiling, and signing of the commemorative stamps. Respectable guests, please lift the stamping frames veil at the count of three. In three, two, one. May we invite our President, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., or Mock City Mayor, Lucy Torres Gomez, and Postmaster General, Mr. Norman Fulhensho, to proceed to the table for the signing of the official first day cover. We would like to invite everyone to witness the signing. was the historic signing of the official first day cover. request our Honorable Mayor Lucy Torres Gomez and Congressman Richard Gomez to present a token of appreciation to His Excellency, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. The plaque reads, the Philippine Postal Corporation issues a commemorative stamp on October 20, 2022 for the 75th Charter Day of Ormoc City. It is the pioneer city of Leyte with 110 barangays and the first non-provincial capital city of the Philippines. Ormoc City adjudged as the 2005 most business-friendly city in the Visayas and one of the cleanest and greenest city in the country. This prestigious award is a leading tribute to visualize Ormoc as beauty by the bay, a wonderful place to visit whether for business or pleasure.
to introduce our notable and honored guest. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Please take your Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Manny Bunuan of the Department of Public Works and Highways for his kind introduction. Uh, our DILG Secretary, Secretary Ben-Hur Abalos, our Tourism Secretary, Secretary Cristina Garcia Frasco, Presidential Management Staff Secretariat Maria Senaida Angpin, well, of course, our hosts for today's activities, our good friends of, uh, from Ormoc City, the Congressman of the 4th District, our Congressman Richard Gomez, and the new City Mayor. Pinag-uusapan namin kung ano, kano yung kaibahan, kung nasanay na siya. Parang pareho yung experience namin, paglipat namin sa legislature, napunta kami sa, sa local. Pareho yung naging experience namin, overwork and underpaid pagka ano, nasa LGU. Our Oromoc City Mayor, Lucy Torres Gomez. <laughs> Philippine Post Office Postmaster General and CEO, Norman Fulhensio the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and the National Commission for Culture and Arts, Chairman Dr. René Escalante, Chesa Chief Operating Officer Mark Lapid, na kasama namin galing Tacloban, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, magandang uh, tanghali na po, magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat. Parang pagpasok namin ni Mayor Lucy at ni Kong uh, Richard, pagpasok namin dito, nung uh, nat, nat, na, naka, naka, nakita ko ulit ito, sabi ko parang familiar sa akin itong lugar na ito eh. Dahil nung uh, last na pagpunta ko dito sa Ormoc ay nag tayo dito sa Superdome na ito. At eh, kaya siguro... Karapat dapat lang naman na haba, dahil nandito na nga tayo ay kailangan ko paabot ang aking napakalaking pasasalamat sa inyong lahat sa support na ibinigay na inyo. Sa support na ibinigay ninyo sa akin sa nakarang halalan. At uh, hindi ko po makakalimutan yon At uh, kahit na Ma marami tayong hina hinaharap na kahirapan, na mga challenge kung tawagin, ay hindi kami mapapagod, hindi namin titigilan ang aming trabaho dahil alam ko na malaki ang kailangan kong isukli sa inyong suporta at ang isusukli ko sa inyo ay ang aming trabaho at ang pagpaganda muli ng Pilipinas at ng buhay ng Pilipinas. Kaya nung uh, nakita ko na may pagkakataon na makapunta ulit sa Ormoc at makabati kayong lahat at mapasalamatan kayong lahat, ay sinabi ko kahit papano gawin natin. Galing kami sa Palo, sa Leyte, dahil nag-celebrate doon sa Leyte Landing. Uh, every, every October 20 Leyte Landing ay may celebration doon sa Palo. Eh, malapit na lang, ay kaya sabi namin, lumipad muna tayo sa Ormoc at meron palang Foundation Day celebration ang Ormoc. Dapat nga naman talaga na laging pinagdidiriwang ang Foundation Day ng Ormoc dahil napakahaba ng kasaysayan ng bayan ng Ormoc, City of Ormoc. So it is my pleasure to join you today as we observe the celebrations of the 75th Adlao sa Ormoc. This commemoration is a testament to the collective resilience and good character or of the Ormocanons. 
through your local history and shared experiences, you have assured us all that no matter how uncertain the future remains, we know that your strong sense of solidarity and cooperation will always lead us to greater feats. These are the characteristics of national unity, the national unity we spoke about for so many months, because it is what we badly need to heal our nation from political divide and diversity. With this, I thank you as you have responded for that call for unity, especially in the past national elections. Your overwhelming support, your faith and trust in me as you are among the strongholds of our collective victory. Wala namang nanalo ng halalan na nag-iisa. Isa lang ang nahahalal. Ngunit maraming marami at ma napakalaki at napakalalim ng utang ng loob sa napakaraming tao dahil hindi naman mangyayari ito kung hindi ko kayo kasama. I will forever remember and cherish that kindness that you showed us and the support that you gave us. Now the work has begun and I am pleased to return to speak before you today bringing this administration's message of encouragement and of commitment Bearing the zeal and drive for unification, I hope that the city government of Ormoc will bind its people and sustain its programs and projects that are primarily geared to attain the crisis that we face, that of food security, that of energy supply, and the change in the global climate. When we ensure that the present generation receives quality education and the Filipino people become free from hunger, we can make our lives more comfortable and usher country to the heights of progress. Aside from these, it is likewise commendable that you have given emphasis to initiatives that address the vulnerability to natural hazards and climate change. Hindi natin makakalimutan ang mga pangyayari Noong uh, tayo itinamaan ng Yolanda at uh, naalala ko na ang uh, inyong congresswoman ay nababalitaan na nandung kami sa Tacloban, umiikot kami sa buong Leyte, marami kaming ginagawa at eh, nagpapadala ng message sa, sa akin. Sabi niya, huwag mo naman kalimutan yung ormok. Alam ko, tinatrabaho mo na mabuti yung Leyte pero huwag niyong kakalimutan yung ormok. Kaya nakapagbadala din kami ng tulong dito. At hindi ko makakalimutan at wala siguro sa atin na nakadaan dyan ay makakakalimut kung gaano kabigat. Yung odet na dumating, hindi kasing lakas pero ganun din ang damage. Yung mga dumadaan na bagyo ay talagang kailangan natin isipin na mabuti kung papano natin babaguhin ang ating pamumuhay, kung papano natin babaguhin ang uh, ating mga ginagawa upang tayo naman ay masagot natin itong, uh, itong global, uh, global warming na nararamdaman natin. Tayo dito sa Pilipinas ay napaka, ano, tayo ay napaka vulnerable tayo dyan sa uh, mga problemang ganyan. Kaya lahat ay kailangan natin gawin para alagaan natin ang uh, ating environment, alagaan natin at maging conscious tayo sa ating paggamit ng mga natural resources dito sa Pilipinas dahil kung hindi tayo mag-ingat ay mauubos natin lahat. With the implementation of your Local Climate Change Action Plan of 2016 to 2025, you help the branch, the executive branch of government, to deliver our mandate, to boost civic engagement, and to raise public awareness. Importante po ito dahil ito nga po ang sinasabi ko tungkol dito sa global warming. Lagi ko pong sinasabi, ito ang una, kauna-unang global na problema, na talagang global. Bakit talagang global? Dahil bawat tao sa buong mundo ay nararamdaman ang mga effects of climate change. At 
para tayo ay maayos natin ang problema ng ito, kailangan natin ang tulong ng bawat isang tao sa buong mundo. That is why it is the most existential, the first global crisis that we need as, a, as humanity have to face together. So by developing and utilizing renewable energy, you help our country and the world minimize the negative impacts of fossil fuel. I look forward to these advancements that will yield to bounties beneficial to the environment, our economy, our people. It is noteworthy that alongside conserving and taking care of our natural resources, you also give importance to intervention for the development of families. I applaud this and your partnership with the Commission on Population and Development to implement your social protection program for adolescent mothers and their children. As the 15th locality to become a city in the entire Philippines and the first in the Eastern Visayan region, these accomplishments you have championed continue to speak of your excellence in service and in governance. With this, I once, re once again will repeat this administration's commitment to support those programs and pro projects for the betterment of your locality and for our country. And finally, I call on the people of Ormoc City to actively participate. Meron pa rin tayong kailangan na pag-alagaan. Kung minsan, dahil kaya, ganyan, wala na tayong mask, hindi na tayo masyadong maingat, ay na kakalimutan natin, nandiyan pa ang pandemya. Medyo mahina na, pero mas hihina yan kung tayo po ay magpa-booster shot. So gagamitin ko na lang itong aking uh, pagkakataon na nagsalita sa inyo, magpa-booster shot po kayo para mabawasan na yan lahat ng, uh, in ng infeksyon Mabuksan na natin lahat ng negosyo. Wala ng protocol, wala ng plastic, wala ng kung ano-ano pa. Bukas lahat ng restaurant, bukas lahat ng mga tindahan, bukas lahat ng mga panghahanap buhay ng ating mga kababayan. Kaya't maimamadali yan kapag tayo ay suma su 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 sumama sa Pinas Lakas vaccination campaign against COVID-19. Baba pa tayo pa sa booster uptake dito sa inyo, 33%. Ah, pero pa, alam ko, kaya ninyong paakitin yan. It is essential that we increase that rate to 50% para meron tayong tinatawag na wall of immunity. Tulong, magtulungan tayo. Napakahalaga nito at marami tayong magagawa kaagad. So, i-prioritize natin ang ating, uh, ang ating health so that with renewed vigor, and with new strength, we can act unrestrained in our efforts to bring forth a better, a brighter, and more united Philippines for everyone. Maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayong lahat. Magandang tanghali po. Thank you very much, His Excellency President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos, Jr.